Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arissa and this is Arissa Root Art. Can you see me? Hi. Today I am working on a 12 by 36 inch gallery wrap level three canvas and I have painted the sides and I'm gonna do a Dutch pour. My base coat is parchment by Artist Loft and it's mixed with American Flow Trawler and Water. And my colors I'm using are Chambord from, actually I'll go in order. I'm using the Midnight Shadow from Color Art Prism Pour. I'm using a little bit of the Interference Violet by Prism Pour, and this is just a little bit thicker. I don't want it to be, um, to leave like a sheen all over everything. I'm using Guatemalan Green, which is by Color Art. It's a primary element. I am using Artel, no, I'm not. I'm using Sargent Liquid Gold Metal in the Aztec Gold. And this one also is just a touch thicker because I don't want it to wash over everything. I am using using Frozen, which is a prism pour. It's a beautiful blue. Is that a bubble? I think it was a bubble. It was a weird bubble. It like dropped weirdly. That's not a bubble. That's a bit. No bits, just bubbles. Get out of there. There, all right. <laughs> so that's Frozen and then the Chambord, which I spoke of. This is a primary element by Color Art. And so I'm going to, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I hit it on? Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to proceed with the uh, painting. <laughs> that was funny. So I'm going to use my paper towel and clean off my board here just a little bit. My goodness, that was special. That was spectacular. Luckily, my um, parchment is opaque, so it should be okay. Uh, <laughs> I have enough left, but that's pretty funny. I'm gonna clean off my parchment here. I am clumsy, but it is already like 12, 16 a.m. and I'm hiking in the morning and I have to be somewhere at 7.30 a.m. Um, so I should go to bed, but I just wanna paint. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna be quiet now and flood my canvas and, and, and do that part. I'll be back. Okay, today I'm gonna do lights on and lights off. So this is with lights on. And again, they have an overhead light there that will shine through. So you can see even there, you can see the shimmer in there, but I love the base coat. I love the parchment. It always looks so good against colors. And there's that um, interference violet that you can see shimmering right there. And that's just without the light on. So I love that. So those are the little lines of gold that I just threw in there. Just a little bit, just to bring a little uh, gold into that section. But the cells are so amazing and I love them. Sorry, I'm such a dork today. <laughs> so let me show you the whole thing here and then I'll turn off the lights and show you with the lights off. I'll be right back. Hi, welcome to my channel. When you've had a bad painting day and you scrape and you scrape, but you've already done so much to the canvas that what's the point of going to bed even at 103 in the morning? Let's just see if we can do something different. So. I had this canvas poured in the Dutch pour, and I'm pretty sure you can see how, but I left too much paint on it and I used parchment as the base, which I really liked. But now that I cannot use parchment by Artist Loft because this will come through it, I switched to the rest of the parchment, but then I added the English Brown by Modern Masters. <laughs> um, I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> We're gonna find out together, all right? And it's just gonna be an adventure. And I'm gonna make it more adventurous by laying down some more white. But I'm only laying down the white this time because I kinda want, you know what, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna just lay down, I was gonna lay down a trough of white and blah, 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 but I cannot blow over with this. And again, it's one o'clock in the morning and my tolerance for art, has waned a bit. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> and we're gonna see what this turns out to be because I have an early morning tomorrow. This is Friday night and I'm going hiking. 
in the morning and I have such an early morning. I have to be elsewhere at 7.30 in the morning. And as I said, it's 1.03. So the little dot of paint there that's a big clump can go ahead and get out of the way because mama ain't tired. Mama's tired and I'm not having it. that is covered. Clean my hands off and get my blow dryer and see about the fact that I put my shirt in this thing. I'm a messy girl today. So let me see how much air and paint is left on here. glad I blew it off. Let me torch this real fast. This is super pretty. Can you guys still see? Are you in the frame? Yeah, you are. That's super pretty. I love this brown. I love a metallic background. So the issue with metallic backgrounds that you need to know if you're going to try one is they tend to pearl and kind of swallow your paints a little bit. I'm just going to blow here because I got too close. So I just want to move that. Um, I got too close right there. So that is why I'm going to put a layer of white cell activator down first, just to see if I can get that under control. And I'm gonna go in the same pattern I did, and I'm gonna lay my colors onto this white as much as possible. And you can see it's a cell activator because it's already starting to sink in and do its cell activator type thing. So I'm gonna go side to side here. What did I just drop there? It doesn't matter. Eh, do I want to do that one first? No, I'm going to put the gold in first simply because it's on brown and I don't want the blue directly on the brown. I'm going to like, I'm going to like the gold this time. I did a little bit less gold on the last one, which was fine and for the most part, but I'm going to like the gold. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to give it a lot of gold. So that was the dark water, uh, dark midnight shadows by Prism Pour, and you. I'm gonna keep the beginning of this video the same, so you'll know what the colors are. This is the iridescent or interference violet by Color Art, their bling it line. This is Guatemala green, Guatemalan green. This is a primary element, and I'm gonna switch it up. You know I love a pink on top, but this chambord took over a little bit. So I'm going to put that one tucked in under. So this is chambord, which is a primary element, the frozen, which is a prism pour. Just so I have a little bit of variation. Let's see what we're going to get. Let me torch this. And then I will add just a little bit of color around so they can, it can flow because I blew so much off and I do want this to flow well. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color around. I'm not going to blow it over my colors though. I don't want brown over these colors. So just a little color around, especially here where it's gotta go far. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. Maybe I'll put a little white on top. Maybe I'll get a little cell activator action on top, too. Because at this point, it's all up for grabs, right? All right, here we go.
I really like this. Right here, I didn't have enough paint. That's why I got that jagged edge a little bit. So I'm going to blow that off. But in order to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of the base coat just right around it so it will move. So not touching my shirt. There. There. The colors are really pretty. Oh, I'm, I actually like this better than the other one. want this to move a little bit more though what do I do what do I do what do I do please help me all right Oof. it's a tough one I don't want to put a bunch of color right there but probably just the colors that should be on top so I'm going to put a little bit of the chambord just a touch actually let me start it off with a little gold Just a touch though, just so there's a base of gold there. And then a little bit of the chambord. And then a little bit of the frozen. And ooh, that's a lot. And a touch of white. So that's bigger. That was a lot too. So we're just gonna go with a lot. All right, I'm going to use my blow dryer here. There. So I almost started to blow it from the edge up, but I switched to blow from the middle of the line because that way it blows it down and up and it makes it look a little more natural. And of course, I'll blend this a little bit more um, by blowing it. But it definitely, I'm definitely glad I got a little more color there. Now this white, I'm just going to, it's cell activator. So I'm going to blow it over because then it will sell a little bit more. There. There. And so that will sell up. It's really pretty and there's some a uh, little bit of there I'm gonna torch it just a little bit just to see if I can get color up and I'm gonna go from a high same here just to get a little color up there's lots of color right there I'm not gonna do that one right here I'm just gonna adjust I'm basically finish blowing that off All right, I'm good. I think I really like this. I'm gonna clean my, uh, it came off here, so I'm gonna blow it off just a little bit here. Just a little tiny bit so it matches. I'm gonna use my stick and clean the, put the, uh, get the drips. I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna clip. I swear, I am okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna scrape the drips right there yet because I just blew it over and if I scrape the drips it's kind of stopping the paint being pulled and so I wanted it to go over so I let it drip for a moment and then I scrape the drips once it gets down to where I want it to be. Obviously, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty though. I'm gonna get you down, show you the results, and I'm going to bed. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. I'm laughing myself. You'll see this whole video is just Arissa making a mess. See that? That was Shambord. That you saw that in the beginning, I'm pretty sure. That's when I dropped my paint. That lovely paint there. And it spilled. And that's just how this day started. And it's got all this nonsense here that's just wasted paint, which I really, really can't stand. But whatever. It's sometimes it happens. All right, so <laughs> let me show you this up close. So you see that English brown mixed with the parchment? That base coat is gorgeous.
gorgeous. And it's so shimmery and so pretty. And I love these colors, how they've blended. And having that base coat be a metallic has helped me develop the cells like they are. So the gold will help. But in this case, because it's Aztec gold, it doesn't help as well as, well as like a 24, hour, 24 karat gold. So having the metallic background really helps. So that's where I torched. And so you see this these little tiny bits of color coming through. And let me see if I can catch the... Um, interference violet uh there see it's so pretty i'm probably gonna blow this part up just a little bit just to blend that gold maybe but you see this is so cute and that's where i blew over because this part is over just a touch and i wanted them to match but i love this this is really pretty this is actually actually prettier than the one i had before and so I'm happy about that. So that's where I added color. So you see that white stayed a bit, but it also celled up because it's cell activator. But let me know what you guys think. That Guatemalan green in there, hi, oh, it's gorgeous. Especially mixed with the frozen right there. Oh my gosh. And that um, midnight shadows against that brown is just beautiful. I love that. And all these little tiny cells, they're so cute. Absolutely cute, I love this. But let me zoom out and then I'm gonna turn on the light so you can see it in the light. Sorry about my messy table. It's gonna get really bright in just a moment here. Here we go. So that's it in the light. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching my insane Friday night. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, I wanted to show you the final result, uh, not the final result, but the dry result of the last video. And as you can see, there's super, super little bits of sparkly in there and I love it. So if you glide over, you'll see that those little mica flakes that I dusted this with, they really put off such a wonderful shine. And I'm going to cover this one with a couple of layers of resin and one will be sparkly resin because I just want it to be super sparkly. And I think that would be very, very pretty but I wanted to show you how it dried. I loved using this, or doing this with that experiment with the satin enamel. I think that turned out really well. But see, look all the sparkle as you move in it, move through it, it's so pretty. My favorite part over here for sparkle oh, is right here. See that? They're like glistening little stars. They come out and they go away and they're pretty and I love them. But I just wanted to show you, oh, look at that, that's so cool wanted to show you the dry result of this piece and now we're going to get to another piece and i'll tell you what we're doing all right oh i also wanted to turn on the light with this piece and show you the light results so one moment let me turn on the light right here we go so i love the dry results in the light too i think it's really pretty and it dried really well so let me know what you think about this piece too in the comments below and those dry results look how pretty that Ah, that's the dark water. So I'm using that color again tonight. But all right, guys, enjoy. Bye.